the east. Now, in the east, of course, uh, it's, 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 you know, North Carolina, a lot of people are saying that they're a, a vulnerable favorite. They're two to one right now. Kentucky, four to one. And then Xavier, the third choice at five and a half to one out of so, those three teams. Uh, what do you think? Of, what do you make of Kentucky, four to one, as opposed to UNC, two to one? I think Kentucky's the, the play there. You think so, too? Yeah, yeah they're that's just what peaking I'm right well. now at, at the best time. And, uh, I don't know. This is this is interesting because Texas A&M gets seated above them. I mean, right. I don't know if you saw the video. It was hilarious. Calipari <laughs> goes, "Did not they see we just played them today and beat them?" You know, he couldn't <laughs> right. believe it. So I don't know that that number four seed there for them that might be a little dangerous. And yeah, and then Xavier. Some people at you know during the regular season were calling for Xavier to be a number one seed uh -huh. to have value uh, to win the whole thing. But Pete, now, with that being said, here's yeah. my question: the opening line, if I'm correct, Kentucky minus fourteen and a half over Stony Brook. Fourteen and a half over Stony Brook. That's Correct. I, I actually didn't get a chance to uh, examine Stony Brook carefully, but uh, feels like hey, you're from that area, though, aren't you? Yeah, I, well, ah, yes, but that doesn't mean ah, no, feels okay. like feels like um, at some point Kentucky's going to get out to a big lead, yeah. whether it will be early or late, and whether or not it'll be big yeah. enough to uh, make a minus fourteen and a half bet a fifty percent proposition. I'm not exactly sure. Now, what but, I have noticed years past, uh, especially the last three tournaments, is when you get your Stony Brooks, as you like mm -hmm. to say, your Stony your Brooks. Your Stony Brooks. They yeah. come out early. It's like they empty the right, tank early, absolutely. and then the second half is when they yes. pay for it. So I yes. don't know. We'll see what happens. I would definitely be leaning Stony Brook on the first half if I was going to be leaning that way at all. And, and before then, we get deeper in that, I wanted to ask yeah. you about the, the playing game with uh, a Florida Golf Coast against Farley Dickinson. Now, remember last year, for, um, Florida Golf goes that was a hell of a story yes and my guess is that 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 will uh, make you know money come in on them in some way yeah uh, they're clearly they're minus not, six over right over they're Farley clearly Dickinson. not the same team that they were that year although yeah. they did they did come on strong at the end of the year uh, yeah. you know they were they were struggling more in the beginning of the year and at the end of the year all of a sudden it started to look like yep. the uh, the Florida team Gulf Coast of year. old sure. uh, yeah I actually have not handicapped uh, the play-in game yet I'm sorry okay. I'm gonna wait to see uh, who wins it and then uh, and then cap that against UNC but we have another nine seed as a favorite yes. Providence right now now that could change but as of right now minus one and a half over USC if we had talked about this a month and a half ago I would say man they got that wrong but the way that USC played towards the stretch and the way the Providence played down yeah the stretch, exactly right? that totally justifies that and I, I think really I think Providence is going to be ready for that game absolutely and then we have to uh, okay another highly debated line here maybe the yeah. high, the most controversial line of the entire east is West Virginia minus seven and a half yes. over SF Austin yeah. feels a little low it does but last night again we talked to Teddy Covers we yeah. talked to a few other guys and they said, hey, Farley Dickinson is, you know, they can, I mean, not Farley Dickinson, Austin. excuse me. Yeah, Stephen F. Austin, yeah. they, they can beat some quality teams. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't buy that myself. I think West Virginia and I and Doug Upstone both agree right. there's a lockdown D. Teddy right. Covers didn't agree on that, but I think Huggins will have that lockdown D in place right away for yeah. the tip. That game I will have a fairly uh, confident opinion on by Thursday <laughs> or by Wednesday night. As of right now, I'm still feeling it out. Okay. Because there's a lot of factors you have sure. to consider when you sure. look at this. And, and these then lines are you know probably going to change a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Well, that one I have a feeling uh, yeah, I think probably will a, stick, a point stick or right two. there. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Wisconsin and Pitt, we've discussed this one. My gut, my initial gut, which is about a 50.6% uh, ATS uh, <laughs> opinion right there. Uh, I was like in Wisconsin, it was minus two. Now it's down to like minus one. Pitt could show up. My sense is that they're a little inconsistent and that Wisconsin minus one would be the play. Yeah, and I talked to you last night about this, and since then I've had a change of heart. Really? And yeah, I got you a like feeling. Pitt? I like Pitt. I think Tell the Wisconsin, um, they're inexperienced because they're young. They're young. Right? Coaching change, middle of the year, okay? I think that's where this may hurt him. I think Jamie Dixon will have a mm -hmm. Dixon will have his team ready to you go. Think so? Yeah, I don't think they should be getting any points. So but. your sense is that is that Pitt's strong performances are more indicative of what they'll do Thank in the you. tournament than Perfect. their weaker performances. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, at least you might be you might be dead on. You might be way dead on on that yeah. one. That might be a great play. I might you might have me changing my mind as <laughs> well. Although we're gonna do this bracket thing, I mean we can't have we can't wind up with the exact same bracket. So yeah. there has to yeah, be we something. Yeah, we can't do right that. Here. We've got to. There have to be some disagreements that have to stick. But <laughs> all right, so the East, uh, you know, and and what's your take in general? on Xavier at five and a half to one to win the East. Uh, do you feel like Xavier is going to come in and, you know, you know, make the final four and surprise everyone or, no. or and not, you know, you think that they, no, I think, I think they'll put up a fight, mm -hmm. but they're, they're, they'll lose in, in that game that will determine if they go to the final four. I think Kentucky's going to take that spot. Yeah. I mean, uh, in, 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 if, if they get by Weber state, yeah. they're going up against it, Wisconsin or Pitt. Do you think that either of those teams, Pitt could 
No, I, I think Xavier can hang with either of them. Matter right. of fact, I know they'll be favored. Obviously, you know that as well. But right. that, that's the kind of game Pitt will lose. Right. You know what I mean? In my yeah. eyes. That's right. what I think. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. But I mean, so the point is that Xavier won't be up against both UNC and Kentucky. They'll only have to get by one of them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, you know, I don't think that they can get by either of them. I mean, I mean, the point is that 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 Kentucky and, or Kentucky is going to if Kentucky wins, they got to get by UNC and yeah. then get by either Xavier or West yeah. Virginia. OK, I see that road happening. Mm -hmm. So who would you pick if you had to pick right now? Again, this is a soft prediction for the East to come out of the East. Who yes, would you pick? I have no question in my mind. Kentucky. Kentucky. I like four it. To I one. like the momentum and I like the coach right now. He's got him in a good spot. And uh, at four to one, I like that. I, I would I would. I'll go. I'll go with Xavier at five and a half to one, okay. just because of the odds. Yeah, though. Sure. If Xavier was the favorite, yeah, I wouldn't absolutely. do it. But at five absolutely. and a half to one, and if you, had to, if you had to take one bet that was your favorite bet as of right now from the East, what would it be? Yeah, there's no question right now, West Virginia and West unless Virginia that minus seven yeah, and a half. Seven and a half. And I mine, like that. mine would be Providence minus one and a half. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now let's move on to the Western bracket. 